as you look at this group of prostitutes, I want you to understand that every one of them may be a victim of human trafficking. Howdy y'all, Hunky T here. Now, I'm just going to uh, let this one run a bit long because it's the last part. I didn't want to break the back part up, but there's a lot of information that I think y'all might want to hear. Uh, about the really inner workings of how all this uh, stuff comes to fruition and and all the good work that like I say the men and women in blue do for our society and then there's Robert Shackelford he's 58 he's from Worthington Ohio he's married he's an IT manager for Stonecrop Technologies in Lakeland they, apparently they have offices here and in Ohio you know he didn't want to cooperate and tell us who he was can you imagine that? He's an IT manager. He didn't want to tell us who he is. Newsflash, Robert, watch the evening news. Or you can go to Facebook Live and see your picture. When you're here visiting from Ohio, we expect you to behave or we're going to lock you up. And it makes no difference whether or not you cooperate. We have these magical systems that can find out who you are and that you violated the law. So at the end of the day, it's important to understand that these ladies couldn't work if it weren't for these guys here. And we worked very hard together to protect people and to help people. So as you look at this group of prostitutes, I want you to understand that every one of them may be a victim of human trafficking. When you look at the history and who got them into the business and how they got into the business, the stories they tell are frightening. And the, the really great thing about our teamwork that we have today with One More Child Anti-Trafficking Organization is that they will follow up with every one of these folks. Now they interacted with them the night that they came to deliver services, but what makes this successful is that they don't give up on them. We're short-term problem solvers. We stopped the problem that night, but we have to go on to other criminal conduct. The beautiful thing about our partnership is they're going to follow up day after day, week after week, month after month, and they won't give up on these ladies. So thank you all very much because our goal is to help these, and many times they fight us and resist us at the front end of this process. But when they see someone like these ladies care and they don't give up, we can be successful. You said one third of the people are from Polk County, and you also pointed out that they should know better. What's going on in Polk County? Why well, so many folks are not getting the message? Do you know, it's interesting that many agencies, police agencies across the state and nation, don't enforce these laws or just enforce the laws when they see them walking on the street and they're a visual nuisance. These folks didn't make any noise because they were online they came to an undercover location, which happened to be a motel room this time. So most police agencies, if it doesn't make noise, they don't investigate it. That's not so with the sheriff's office here and our colleagues from Lakeland, Haines City, Winter Haven. In fact, all our police departments in this county. It's like saying if we don't make any drug arrests, then there's no drugs. So the reality is these folks, a third of them, or so came from Polk County, two-thirds of them came from other places, and they came from all over the nation. Be abundantly clear on one thing. If you come here and engage in this conduct, you will be arrested. If you weren't arrested in this operation, you'll be arrested in the next one, and I think one or two have been arrested by us before. They're just slow learners. Sure, people are online are saying, you know, what good does it do to arrest these people within a few days they'll be out of jail, back on the street doing the same thing again? Well, I suggest to you that it does a lot of good because we're dealing with health issues here.
We're dealing with a guy who was HIV positive that wanted to have sex with a child. If we hadn't have done this oper undercover operation, he would have been out potentially hooking up with a 14-year-old child. Other of these people were HIV positive, so they would have been sending it home to their significant others. So you have a health problem, you have a human trafficking problem, in that these guys, keep in mind, they are buying the services of these ladies, many of which are victims of human trafficking and or have been victims of human trafficking and need help and don't have a way out. They're creating the environment. If it weren't for these guys, these, these ladies here couldn't work. So at the end of the day, this is about us doing what's right. And I suggest that those that are on social media or any other media saying, well, it's just a business relationship by two consenting adults don't understand or don't want to understand or don't care. We care. We care about every one of those folks and we care enough to arrest them if they don't behave. We care enough to help them if they'll let us help them but we will not give up. That's our promise. For those two minors that were um, helped and, and now will have opportunities for a way out, it matters a lot. Um, this is not a minor problem. And many of us, like myself, like Dr. Mary Ann Thomas, we're survivor leaders today. And had someone been able to, through an operation like this, put a stop to us being sold as teenagers, our whole lives, like years of destruction could have been stopped. We could have had many more years to serve and be part of our communities like we are today. So this is not a minor problem, um, even with the adult ones who think that, okay, I'm just here and I'm doing this by choice. The reality is, if you go back to their teenage years and their childhoods, they were suffering from childhood trauma, sexual exploitation, and being sold. And that means that long before that day, we all as a community should have done things like this operation to make sure that we take those people off the streets and that services are offered and that especially the minor children are provided a way out. Thank you. And for the wives, I'm sorry that you're caught up in this situation, but now you know what kind of a scoundrel you married. Okay? Well, there you go, my friends. Another saga ends in Polk County, Florida. Now, I hope you all enjoyed learning from this stuff and just getting a little inside look at how these operations work. I really opened my eyes to it because, you know, I always thought, well, prostitutes do what they want. That's their choice. Let them do it. But maybe it ain't their choice. So who are we to judge? So anyway, I think they're doing some great work here. And uh, like you said, some people ignore it. They don't. They want to help them. So anyways, y'all have a blessed day. You take care of yourself, you take care of each other, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.